so you guys know about Steven Crowder. Now, around the time of Politicon, we got a lot of information from David Pakman and Sam Cedar and Kyle Kalinske that basically a bunch of right-wingers started backing out of the debates. Now, I tried to stress the point of that situation as much as I could, but it gets repetitive after a while. But what I was trying to get across was, is, hey, look at all these right-wingers backing out of these debates. But if the left were to do that, then they would be relentlessly over and over again ad nauseum talking about it. Um, <laughs> and so we talk about it sometimes, but not as much as they would. So basically what had happened was, and you guys know this story, uh, the, the way, way Sam Cedar said, said it was is Politicon told him that Stephen Crowder got cold feet. Now it is, I guess his dad told him not to debate uh, Sam Cedar because he's his manager. And did, yeah, I don't know if that was a joke or not, but I guess that's what was said. I think he was joking. But there's a good chance they did like a little bit of a, you know, an analysis. Hey, is this good for business? Is this good for our image? Because, because I'm sure they looked at the debate they did with Yusuf, uh, where he got absolutely mauled, to where he had to cowardly play victim and act like he was being, you know, he was being hurt in some way or some fashion, which was hilariously dumb, by the way. It was ridiculous. It was stupid. It didn't make any sense. Um, and so he had to run away like a coward because he was getting pwned left and right heavy center. And he's ran away from him since. Now, now, he, he does, does his Change My Mind series, and Stephen Crowder sent out this tweet on Twitter. Uh, he said, still waiting for someone to hashtag Change My Mind about building the wall. And that is unbelievably hilarious, because you have, you have Sam Cedar waiting to debate you. He's begging to debate you. You go, oh, lefties don't debate me. They're too scared. They're cowards. Same thing Ben Shapiro said at Politicon. Ironically, after he backed out of the debate with Kyle, how are you going to do that? It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. It's not, you know, it's not, it's not legitimate. It's not, you know, it doesn't make sense. There's nothing legitimate that goes with that. So it doesn't make any sense. Now, I'm going to show you guys a clip of Sam Cedar talking about this and talking about how the replies got super filled. Um, basically, I think I had seen Matt tweeted at it tweeted about this, so I tweeted about it too, and um, I try to troll Crowder with that, so I try to be like, oh, like, basically, Sam Cedar every once in a while too, um, but check it out. Nebraska, Crowder tweeted about no one wanted to debate him two days ago. All replies told him to debate Sam. <laughs> Crowder's subreddit is even questioning him, talking about his leaving, about leaving his mug club if he keeps dodging. His supporters Ooh. claim his health has been too poor, LOL. Wow, this might be the final nail I'm in the not, coffin for him. Look, now, I know what we're talking about. Can we put this up on the screen? The um, uh, and Now, and, and really, let, let's be clear here. Uh, I was surprised by this as anybody. Now, apparently, Matt, who is just incorrigible, uh, saw that uh, Steven Crowder had uh, posted one of his things, um, one of his, um, his videos. Um, the, the wall is uh, bad. Or, you know, or it's good. We should have a wall. Yeah, still waiting for somebody to change my mind that the wall is a, a good idea. Right. So, um, and uh, apparently, uh, Matt Leck, you know, because he's, uh, you know, he's constantly on Twitter, always trying to pick fights with people. Uh, Matt Leck um, <laughs> wrote, and this is highly inappropriate. Um, he wrote, uh, he, he, retweeted with a comment have sam cedar on my bitch and um the and then after that uh things went sort of haywire for uh for for that tweet it seemed like every single reply said some version iteration what, what like what, let's look at the ratio here he had wow. 1001 uh replies <laughs> And 176 uh, retweets. That's that healthy. Is quite the ratio. He almost has more replies than likes, even. I bet you a bunch of people that liked it were like people from our side too, who just wanted to see all the replies. Yeah, let's monitor this in a couple hours. And um, 
th- there's been over a thousand replies. And then like uh, two days later, someone emailed and said, you should check this out. Cause I had no idea. And I went and looked at it. I was like, oh my God, there's a lot of people out there who really uh, want to dog uh, Steven Crowder. Oh yeah. A friend of mine who does not listen to the show at all just texted me a meme yesterday that someone made of Steven Crowder that says, uh, Steven Crowder is afraid to debate Sam Cedar. <laughs> Changed Change my, my mind. mind. I saw that too. We should put that on. That's good. Should, but let me just say this. Um, I understand that uh, that Steven's in poor health. I, I, I'm sort of shocked about how... Uh, how he's able to go out and about on the town to do these videos in such poor health. Um, and I will make it super easy. Um, we can do this uh, via Skype or, or, the, or the phone, or um, we can do it in any way that is uh, comfortable for, for Steven. Uh, yeah, the ratio is absolutely beautiful. It is a pure, absolute beauty. There's no other way to put it. I've never seen a more beautiful um, comment, you know, tweet reply thread in my entire life. There's no way I have, you know, I'll just read you, I'll read you guys some of these tweets and the responses. One of them says, you know, how about at Majority Report, um, Majority Report Sam Cedar, just an idea. Ben Dixon, by the way, throwing this in. He said, have you ever seen him actually debate anyone? Crowder is a clown. Um, that's a pretty fun one, if, if you ask me. Uh, another person says, you know, if I remember correctly, Sam Cedar rules. Another one says, how about debating Sam Cedar, who you've continuously dodged? Another one says, bad choice of words, Stephen. Another one says, debate at Sam Cedar. A bu- all of them basically say something to the effect of Sam Cedar, debate Sam Cedar. Why are you dodging Sam Cedar? Why are you being a coward? And I actually made a meme myself, but other people made this meme too. Uh, of, you know, the change my mind meme that went viral where everyone was having the change my mind poster with Steven Crowder there. And then they would just like Photoshop in their own thing. Um, I and a bunch of other people made ones where it was like, you know, I'm too much of a coward to debate Sam Cedar, change my mind because that's the truth. And it's sad because this tweet, I mean, first of all, I have a question I don't believe that Steven Crowder's even acknowledged Sam Cedar's existence publicly, which is really, 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 really sad. There's no other way to put this, man. I mean, you are so scared, you won't even acknowledge the man's existence. That's how much you're shivering in your own boots. And this is the crazy thing, man. It looks like Sam Cedar's like the kryptonite of the... Well, I would say Cedar, Pacman, and Kalinske, I think, are all their kryptonite. Um, because none of them want to debate any of them. We know also that, remember, Sam Cedar has been begging to go on the Rubin Report as well, saying, hey, I want to take part in the free exchange of ideas. I want to insert my ideas firmly inside of the uh, (laughs) marketplace of ideas. But Dave Rubin, who I guess is the gatekeeper or the, the warden or the bouncer, whatever you want to say, of the marketplace of ideas is blocking Sam Cedar from firmly inserting his beliefs inside of the marketplace of ideas. And it's just sad, man. It's sad to see. It's it's embarrassing. There's no other way to put it. And I'm disappointed. I'm di- the, I want, Obviously, one thing I'm not disappointed about is the replies to this tweet, because those are purely hilarious. I mean, there's no other way. There's no other way to put that. So remember that David Pakman also wants to go on Dave Rubin as well. Dave Rubin keeps trying to make it real complex because he obviously doesn't want to have him on. And I'm like 99% sure at this point that their relationship is just completely broken off. I don't think that that's, I don't think there's anything left of that one, to be honest, because Dave Rubin's last response to Pagman was something like, enjoy your quest for clicks. And to me, that seems to be, oh, uh, you know, fuck you. You're just looking for clicks and I'm not going to engage you. So I don't think that they're on <laughs> that they're on very good terms as well, and I don't think anyone can really disagree with that at this point. I just don't see how you could do that. And I also remember Ben Shapiro backing out of a debate with Kyle Klinsky, and ironically at Politicon when he's doing his Q and A, some dude asks, someone asked him, I think it was a girl actually, and what his response was is, you know, I debate college kids because they're the most brave. You know, the the other pundits won't debate me. It's like you just you just declined to debate with Kyle Klinsky. In fact. You didn't even debate anybody. So how can you have the gall to say that? How can you have the gall to put out a tweet on Twitter saying, still waiting for someone to change my mind? Dude, 
you're debating college kids while there's somebody who has an established audience of over 400,000 subscribers on YouTube and their own radio. Uh, how are you going to ignore the person with over 400,000 subscribers and favor literal college kids? It makes you look like a coward because that's what you are. And so Sam Cedar put him on blast, as you guys saw earlier. And all of the people who sort of know about this, part of the Majority Report fan base and everyone, including me, just trolling the you know shit out of him for being a coward, point blank, that's it. Um, and it's pretty hilarious, man. Let me know your thoughts on this down below. I thoroughly enjoy the Sam Cedar smackdowns that he's been laying on a bunch of these conservatives like uh, Ruben and Crowder.